Yo, and welcome to episode one of my Outpost Infinity Siege playthrough. So, this is a first-person tower defense game. Um, I have only played so far as to make sure that the game does in fact work properly on a triple monitor setup. You can probably tell a little bit from this particular loading screen. This is being rendered in engine. And it does extend beyond 21 by 9 so yes, it does work correctly. Um, the UI is spanned, but we will get to that. Before we begin, we need to go quickly over the settings that we are currently using. Uh, if you only care about gameplay, there will be links, um, or there will be timestamps and chapters that you can skip through in the description and on the seek bar. So yes, one thing that I do want to mention, this game forces super sampling to be enabled. Um, I'm hoping that local actually means native uh, developers. If local is referring to the fact that the super sampling model is running off the actual resolution of my display, that word is native. It is native resolution, not local resolution. Um, you're thinking about local host. That's a networking term. Native resolution is what you want here. Um, I'm hoping that that's the case because the actual list for AMD FSR lists the um, qualities, the first one being ultra quality and then quality after native, so it's native ultra quality quality, so hopefully this is running correctly. The reason that this is notable and a problem is because you will notice that my horizontal resolution is only 1080p. Now, super sampling technology is pretty good if you're running on 4K, because then you can pull down to what's effectively still a pretty big image and then upscale from there. But if you're starting from a 1080p tall image and you scale down, and then you're 720p, and if you're half um, 1080, you're at 540, and there's very little for the um, AI engine to work with to actually properly upscale. So super sampling tech at the kind of resolution I'm running at, even though it is wider than a 4K display, does not work, and it will look terrible if I um, actually turn it up. Um, but I think it looks okay. Uh, I've turned frame generation on, um, it is giving me extra frames. I've not noticed anything yet, um, but I've also not done much yet. Um, there seems to be any kind of artifacts or issues. Um, the frame rate is currently limited to 120. There's no 144, um, which is weird. It goes up to 160 next. I don't know why 144 isn't here. Um, field of view defaults to 90. That seems okay. We've turned motion blur off. Um, I've tuned down global illuminations and reflections slightly. I've also pulled post-processing quality down by one. Again, developers, split out post-processing, please. If I find out you've got depth of field turned on, I am going to have to make a configuration edit. This is a Unity 5 engine game, by the way. Um, so I'm going to have to make a configuration edit to disable depth of field because I hate that effect. Um, so yeah, split this out properly, please. Don't just go all post-process and it's no, no. Um, so yeah, we've tuned it down so it's not maximum, but it's still reasonably high. Um, and that's that. Uh, I've already been in and halved the mouse sensitivity because that was a bit too high. I've not checked the key bindings yet. We'll see how they're bound by default. Um, we've enabled subtitles and I've left most of this all the same. We may or may not turn it off later. But yeah, so let's get into this. Let's start a new game and enjoy a cutscene. It's over. AI won. In the end, our pride and avarice was to be our downfall. Humanity now cowers in the shadow of its own creations. Fighting tooth and nail just to survive. Our once proud civilization now in ruins. And freedom seems like a fleeting pipe dream. And yet, when evil reigns supreme, heroes rise up in defiance. They are the glimmer of hope within the encroaching darkness. And I am proud to call them my brothers. Standard sci-fi bullshit. 
this is a pre-rendered cutscene. Um, I don't believe there's too much chat in here, so I will go over a pet peeve. Developers, that pre-rendered cutscene was in 21 by 9 Why are you not using my monitor? Okay, so the UI is spanned. Um, I will pull over the important bits um, for those of you watching 21 by 9 much in the same way I did doing my Terraria playthrough. Um, my health is all the way in the bottom left. We are apparently starting level 30. We have a mini-map on the upper left, which is weird that it's on the left-hand side. They usually put it on the right. Don't know why that's there. Um, by the looks of it, we also have resource points and power listed over there. Um, and yeah, our current objective is on the right. Um, something to note, while that uh, in-game cutscene was playing, um, it did give us the location information on the right-hand side. Um, it came up as a, a little bubble on the right. Um, I probably won't be sliding those on. But yeah. So, currently getting about 100 frames per second. Frame rate drop doesn't seem too bad while moving or looking around. So, let's get running. I can't believe all 10 outposts got deployed this time. Yeah. Does that thing even still work? We've got to try something. We can't just hide forever. Okay, that's cool. It just automatically jumped me up onto the top of this thing. I was wondering what, uh, what it would do, but no, it's mantled me up. That's interesting. That is potentially useful for later. I don't know exactly um, how the outpost system works and how I fight. Cooper, it's been a while. Just try to keep up, Matt. I'll be there when your ass needs to be saved. Sir, the beacon is up ahead. Okay, I pressed Control, not C, which is good. Let me just check that. It obviously came up as C, but it looks like it has double binding. And if it's con Control, it is. Okay, good. That's fine. Middle mouse button. Oh, melee close quarters left mouse button. Why don't I change that to middle mouse button? Unless middle mouse button is bound to something else. Mark slash open mark wheel. Hmm. That's more of a multiplayer option. We'll see if it's um, told or if it's expected to be used in single player to command troops or something. Oh, we can double jump. Why is it being detected? Requesting instructions. Destroy it. any kind of crit. Something's wrong, Cooper. This area should have been cleared before the operation. Phase one, recover and deploy OC or OSC near dawn. Phase one, set up a base perimeter around the OSC, codename Stronghold Zero. Station outpost 9, inside perimeter and extend a Prometheus field around the base using the base's power supply. Phase 3, the rest of um, 9's outposts will be placed decoys around the base area to draw the attention of the Mechanus forces. Phase 4, recall all outposts to base perimeter and fire the OSC. Come out. Reload is what you expect it to be. Inbound sights. Sir, harvesters detected at area D4. Ready for 
Ready to engage. Requesting backup immediately. How did they get so far inside the Promethean field? Go check it out. Heading there now. Yeah, I get it all. Just ammo. Is there anything else to find? Can I pick up ammo even if I'm at max? Is there a limit to how much ammo I can carry? Well, if there is, it's more than I have in the minute. That's 2,000 ammo. I just noticed something else. Okay, that is rendering properly this time. Ah, almost 3,000 ammo. More ammo down there. No fall damage, good to know. Uh, while holding tab, use the mouse wheel to select an item and release tab to equip it. Press and hold tab to toggle quick slot. Interesting. So we have a inventory system as well. Contain two packs of ammo of a certain type. Contains a hundred in total. Chocolate. Is the game paused? Um, does it pause when I do that? I need something that's moving. I see nothing that's moving. I can't test that. Uh, that's just the ammo that I have at the minute. Does it tell us what stack size limit is? Not that I can see here. Player choice, what works for you? Okay. We do have a stamina meter. I'm assuming this is a loading bar. Oh, am I forgetting something? Oh, use the ammo crate, so we actually have to use it. Press G to use the selected item. Okay, so we have a hot barred bottom now. Now it opens, okay. That's why it wouldn't open. Uh, we now have 3,000, almost, <laughs> almost um, 4,000 ammo. Uh, we have a one and a two over on the um, left hand side. Ah, fire mode of the weapon. You haven't been told what that Levi, does yet. The explosion just blocked my path. The OSC is already deployed. There's no time to clean up. Search nearby for something that can get you through the obstacle. I'll make sure our guys are on full alert. We can handle more than a little hostile firepower. Copy that. Shiny new weapon, core gun. Again, has two modes. Uh, you have found a core gun. You can swap it out with uh, by either dragging. Oh, we have a we have a full on inventory system. Um, you can swap it out either by dragging or double clicking each core gun's feature. Oh no, each core gun features its own unique effects uh, and Zen recipes. Press B to open your backpack. Okay, this is again spam. This is going to make a nightmare for editing on 21 by 9 but I will figure something out. Ah, okay. So we have as much ammo as we can hold, basically. And the core gun appears to be modular. Double click the cavalry core gun with left mouse button to equip it. I can use the slingshot Zen to go over the obstacle. Uh, it has a resale value by the looks of it. I'm assuming that's what the credits are. Regular stock. I'm sure we'll get talked about those later, but we'll not worry about them for now. Uh, press 2 to switch to slingshot Zen and aim it to the ground to deploy. Oh, so it's a jump pad. Uh, I can use this slingshot Zen to get over the obstacles. This is very dark. I may have to 
It's not inviting me to change gamma settings anywhere. Levi, the intruding harvesters have been eliminated. Outstanding. Return to your outpost immediately and prepare for battle. Do we have a flashlight? I suppose we should actually get food ready. Do we have to left click? We do have to left click to select. Hmm, I can't double jump anymore. Press M to enter command mode. Uh, select ammo markers uh, and craft ammo. No, I think I think this is a little bugged. And what is it? While in command mode, you can see the outpost and its components to activate their effects. Uh, begin by manufacturing ammunition um, and activate the outpost turrets. Okay, so the UI for this is on the right hand side, so how do we activate things? Q by the looks of it, attack, attack, move, reset camera, core tower, not sure if it's supposed to glow like that. Oh wait there, um, ammo maker. We select it. Crap. Everyone, this is the general speaking. ROS has detected our presence in this area. A mechano strike force is imminent. All outposts, prepare for immediate action. Get ready to fire at will. It all comes down to this moment. Contact. Fight to the end. For our deeds today shall echo in eternity. As you progress, you will unlock new ways to play, including uh, on-the-fly switching to command mode uh, to command the outpost and its support units, piloting cataphracts or engaging in personal combat. We do have missiles.
if you destroy those things? It looks like this has unlimited ammo. It says manual mode active, which means we can probably... ...actually command this. We're not doing any damage to it. <laughs> Oh, it has run out of ammo. Can I activate that? Earthbound Tyrannus Orbital System. Okay, so that is the introduction, and now we get our level 1 character, presumably. Zen changes how bullets behave. Hold Q to open core gun. There appears to be a lot more depth to this than I thought. has ended in failure. Two of our outposts lie in ruins. Dawn has fallen. The Mechanos have locked down Stronghold Zero, in an attempt to eradicate us for good. But we never gave up. The swath of barren waste has now become a beacon of our new hope. We gathered all the weapons we could find and headed toward our new home in the hopes of keeping the fight alive. Five years later, a new base rose from the ashes. Codename, Phoenix. From the cinders, so too shall we be reborn. Operation Resurgence, 2083. Yeah, there's definitely some funkiness with super resolution going on. 
because you can see the weirdness and the texture on this. It's bubbling. Uh, I wonder if that's frame generation. Now that we actually have an effect that we can observe and check, let's see. Nope, still there. Um, yeah, we can't turn it off, we can just change its mode. Definitely some small amount of weirdness to the renderings. Maybe it's reflections that are causing the problem. Backpack. Zen firearm. What did it say about Q? Oh, presumably we can't do anything with it at the minute. Cutscene. The casualty report is here. 32 dead, 6 missing. We're the only ones left. Get the list to Colonel Roland. That's Veg. The new commander for Outpost 11. I heard this is his first actual combat. What? Are they out of their minds? This guy? I'm standing right here. The through the roof. General seems pretty confident in his abilities. He better not screw up. Excuse me, I'm standing right here. I cannot sprint. Forced walking. Team Ranger presents. Hey, bro, I heard you got some booze. I'm busy. I'm still waiting for the shipment of alloy component from Andy. Andy. Last night when he was protecting Outpost 8, they were bombarded by Aitos. He might not be coming. Oh. Oh. Right. Here. Take the boobs. At least you still have me. One more minute and you'd have lost your leg. I'd say that's a fair trade for 19 elites. As long as I get to keep my eyes. Commander, the target area is currently clear of hostile ratings. Good luck out there. So it seems like they have a fairly heavy story focus. All units, outposts 8 and 10 have engaged the enemy. Commander Fenn, prepare for combat. Today, we retake the fight back to SEAL. Those who stand beside you might be old faces or new arrivals. But in this wretched world, we are one of the same. Together, we shall march towards the bitter end as brothers. Let our legacy propel humanity to its final triumph. Let our deaths become the embers that ignite the fires of hope. Our daughter is still so Take it easy. Most of the enemies have been drawn away by our post. Okay, what was I about to say? Um, oh yeah, let's temporarily disable frame generation because I noticed um, something while going up on that lift that probably was frame generation related. Yeah, that brings our frame rate down to 50 frames per second. Commander Fay of Outpost 11, reporting in. Fay, your mission is to retrieve the control core located in the valley ahead. Once you have it, 
Outpost 11 will be able to assist you in combat remotely. You'll be a one-man army with a can of serious whoop-ass. You can expect enemy resistance in the valley. Once you have the control core, install it into your outpost immediately. Activate auto defense mode and prepare for a fight. Matt is preparing Outpost 11 as we speak. Go find him. Copy that. That's some seriously unsynced lip flap. There are, um, well, the views for this game are, well, mixed total is about 60 something percent, and um, mostly positive currently. Um, but there are some people that are saying it feels like an early access game or an incomplete game. Um, visuals certainly don't look it. Individual people, it's like, and again, and the lip flaps on that do not look remotely convincing. The new commander is here. Send for outpost 11. Here you are, brother. You're even younger than me when I became commander. I'm impressed. Here's the outpost you've been craving. I forced the camera to look over there, but it didn't actually do anything because the outpost is down there. I did get rid of the, or um, disabling frame generation did get rid of the weirdness as the bars were passing through. The enemy could strike at any moment. Take this time to familiarize yourself with your outpost. Uh, let's turn it back on because. I was mostly just curious, it was just something that I noticed while I was going down the lift. The walls and floor tiles make up the majority of the outpost's main structure, supporting weapon systems and shrugging off attacks. Oh. We can actually get inside. The core tower is the heart of the outpost. The core tower is loaded with an outpost core. It provides power and acts as the control center. The outpost core maintains the Promethean field. Once that's gone, you'll be vaporized by Iatos. Armored wall. on flat surfaces. You also have one ammo producer to replenish ammunition. Uh, that looks like it's underneath us. Or is it outside? The all-terrain carrier is the load-bearing section of the outpost. The mechanical legs will carry the outpost on any terrain. For safety reasons, these legs are disabled while the Promethean field is active. So that's how the outpost gets from place to place. Uh, search for control core components, which I imagine are these things. Oh no, they're over there. Um, can we make ammunition at the minute? I'm going to make a... Crafted an ammo box. Okay, there's a time delay on it. Let's take it with us. Items will be recovered and stored in the storage field. That's my recovery time. Open container. Oh, that's what I was selecting. Area scan. Interesting. Let's do what they ask. Now what's... That's the basic gist of your outpost, so now I'll brief you on the mission. You must reach three target zones within the valley to recover the control core's components. Place them all in the container and wait for it to link up with the outpost core. Once that's done, 
Activate the outpost. Question, question, morph Zen. Enhanced ammunition. You have detained a Zen. Hold Q um, to open the core gun menu and imbue it with Zen, modifying your weapon. Uh, Q is apparently not the button that does that, or at least I suppose I don't have my weapon out. There we go. Well, that's annoying. Um, <laughs> so that arrow is all the way over on the left-hand side. Imbue, switch Zen, switch slot. So that goes from spray to light, fires Zen rounds at extreme speed at a fraction of the power. Minimal damage increase. Imbue. And that's just going to swap out that. Alter attribute display. Okay, so we can get more information over there on the right hand side. This is going to be a bit cumbersome. Again, this is going to be a nightmare to edit. I was hoping this game would be less of a tr or less trouble to edit than um, Terraria. It looks like it's not going to be that, or not going to be the case. Increase kinetic elements or any element to the level of slot, or convert the slot to a kinesis element. Uh, if I change modes, can I then replace that one? We can. Explosive arrow. Let's keep explosive arrow and replace spread. Is that? In view. Okay, we, it swaps back and forth. Uh, flashlight is T. Holster is 5. While holding a weapon, press Q to call into infusion, which we've already done. Core control. And uh, if we open up our backpack... Inventory Tetris. Okay, so there's our module. We don't actually have a stock equipped at the minute, so we can just throw that on. Custom stock made from a crude material that greatly increases your draw speed. What's that? Gold. Okay. customizable outpost. All modular parts and detachable weapons, no permanent structure, no fixed control circuitry. I can't believe they actually built this thing. But if you don't find a control core, this thing will be nothing but a heap of scrap. One day I'm gonna zip that bloody mouth of yours. Relax, it's a reverse jinx. Here she is, outpost 11. Take care of her. I'll be taking up a defense position ahead. Okay, and the last piece is over there. Oh, hello. Let's see. Okay, so you do have weak spots. Here's a small amount of um, increased deviation while moving, like the tiniest of amounts. I wonder if that's different if I'm using a different mode. Nope, that's pinpoint accurate apparently. Consumable, what's this? Armor plate regenerates 20 armor and resists kinetic damage. Just random gold lying around. 
drawers be open? Nope. I mean, for them, um, 50 years in the future, that's a very 2000s looking case. Place the control core inside the container and brace yourself for the coming onslaught. Can't pick up those. loop around just to make sure there's nothing over here. We are gaining experience. Vertical springboard. Ah right yes and also no doubt fall damage. Excuse me you turned on a dime. Do not approve. Interesting. There's a cooldown on this. It's on the side of the gun, but it's also on the um, thing over there. So bullets have travel time and fall off. Good to know. Master Chief? Are you supposed to look like Master Chief? Because you look a bit like Master Chief. Anything worthwhile in here? Another locker, empty. Nope. I need an outpost can scan. Can I do that from here? Core tower scan. We can do that remotely. Interesting. Good to know. So, at all times, we can, in fact, there is stuff in here, hiding on the shelves. Uh, so, at all times, we can access the features of our tower. Some items in there that we can't identify. We need a lockpick, apparently, for that. Uh, Combat command Traps of some description. Armor plates. Big ass wet uh, gun ammunition. Artillery shell. Interesting, interesting. Uh, there's almost certainly going to be a way that I can hotkey those. I mean, I don't know what. Skill use, free use. Okay, so that allows me to, um, I wonder if that will synergize with um, this and allow me to fire this continually. I imagine not, because um, I reckon there's a cooldown, so that'll prevent me. So what does X do? And how do I find information on that? Here they are. Instant cooldown accelerates the cooldown process of the Zen uses. Current cooldown negatives 30 second and regenerates armor. Okay, so we have abilities as well. This is, there's a lot more to this than I was expecting there to be. Okay. Apparently we missed a thing over here. 
how did we miss that? Standard core gun, military issue with plus five attack. Uh, wrong button. Can I... Oh, you're not smart enough to do that. Damn. We actually have to do inventory uh, Tetris the um, full way. Mag size, attack plus 30. Um, we have the basic core gun. Does this have any parts on it? Grab these. Oh. Where did you come from? Where did you come from? Okay, fine. We'll get back to the tower. Entering. Okay. Uh, open container. I assumes... Okay, activate the recovery process. Regular. Fang, two enemy forces entering the firing zone. Defend the outpost. Just malfunctioned. Takes five minutes to reconfigure. I will deal with this wave. Uh, press X or Z to unleash phase skills. Uh, X charge fire gains unlimited ammo for a brief period. Instantly cooldown greatly reduces cooldown of equipped Zen. Machine gun time Who knew this big girl could become so nimble with the control core? Who are you? Artificial intelligence model Eden 9 at your service. I will aid you in the fight against SEAL. An AI to fight another AI? Requesting permanent control access for ease of battlefield operations. Do you consent? Uh... Sure, why not? Everything okay, Faye? <laughs> Matt, there's something you should see. What's the holdup? You better get your ass moving before Levi. All units, Outpost 1 is now entering the battle. You're screwed. Man, I hear the last time Levi blew a fuse like that was eight years ago, or so the rumors go. At least I have my own outpost now. The recovery fleet is on its way. We'll deal with any pursuers. You might need to mop up a few hunting packs to get through. Fight on and bring your outpost back in one piece.
Critical damage detected, marking three locations that demand immediate repairs. Okay, uh, <laughs> pacing could use a little bit of tweaking. Um, we didn't really get... Things just seemed to jump ahead there and there wasn't that much reason for it. So yeah, pa pacing in this game could definitely use some, some work. Um, I don't think we are where we were previously. There was no indication that we moved anywhere. <laughs> Things happen that have not been explained in any way, shape, or form. Very strange. Um, we'll call it there for today. We're a little bit early, 50 minutes in, but I don't know how long each of these missions are. Um, obviously, I'm still messing around trying to learn the systems and experiment. Uh, it looks... Have we kept... We have kept all of our gear from the previous mission. Um, did it repair our armor? Uh, we've leveled up. Our armor has not been auto repaired. Which means we do need to do that ourselves. Uh, we could definitely use some more ammo, so we may as well use this. But yeah. We'll leave it there for today. Not exactly the best start, but I'm still very intrigued by the systems and mechanics in this game, even if it's like the story is all fluff um, or anything like that. So we apparently have an AI tower, or a tower controlled by an AI that was requesting permission to basically act on its own, which was not addressed. Um, the fact that the tower has an AI has apparently not been addressed at all. It seemed very much like um, something skipped there, as if it jumped ahead for some reason. I mean, obviously there was a, a actual story jump, but it didn't explain what was going on, so it's all very weird. Um, but yeah, we'll leave it there for today. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the show. We'll be back again on Wednesday, where we will continue to play with this and see where things are going to go. So hopefully, we'll see you next time. Cheerio.